start the day in the Word of God. We've been looking at the supernatural, and there's no greater event in the supernatural realm than the birth of Jesus Christ. You know, he came in the form of man uh, and walked this earth without sin. But let us read the story. So go with me to the Gospel of Luke, uh, and we're going to read um, from chapter 1. And verse 29, Mary was deeply troubled over the words of the angels and bewildered over what this may mean to her. But the angel reassured her, saying, do not yield to your fears. You know, when we move in the supernatural, when our life is about to be transformed, the greatest challenge that we will have is in the natural realm, in the realm of fear. Here, Mary had an encounter with the angel of the Lord. An important occasion was about to be announced. And, you know, we have lived through perhaps the worst year of our lives in the natural. But do not be fearful, for the word of the Lord is coming to you as we enter 2021. For the Lord has brought to light in you and has chosen you to and has chosen to surprise you with a wonderful gift. Wow, God in 2021 has a wonderful gift for you and I. Oh, it's so exciting. It's so exciting. Yes, 2020 is all over. 2020 coronavirus is about to disappear. But what will 2021 bring us is the issue that we need to look at here. You will become pregnant with a baby boy and you are to name him Jesus. He will, he will be supreme and will be known as the son of the highest. And the Lord God will enthrone him as king on, um, on his ancestor David's throne. He will reign as king over Israel forever, and his reign will have no limitations. Let me tell you, when you hear the word of God in 2021, when you break out of your humanistic abilities uh, and you move into the supernatural realm of God, wow, nothing, nothing will be able to stop you. And But Mary said, but how can this happen? I am still a virgin, and I'm sure that you said, and you have said, how can these things happen? How can it be that I uh, would bring forth a baby when I'm still a virgin? How is it I am of the least of my family, uh, Gideon said, and yet you want me to lead Israel. How is it that David, a little shepherd's boy, insignificant, that they didn't even bring him before Solomon the prophet, uh, Samuel the prophet, I should say, uh, and yet that was the one that God has chosen, and God has chosen you. And Gabriel answered, the spirit of holiness, the supernatural realm, the Holy Spirit will fall upon you and almighty God will spread his shadow of power over you in a cloud of glory. This is why the child born to you will be holy and he will be called the Son of God. What's more, your great aunt Elizabeth 
has also become pregnant with a son, and that son was to be John the Baptist. You know, we read the words there that the Holy Spirit would come upon Mary, that the Holy Spirit would cover her, and in her womb, the Holy Spirit, God Almighty, would form a baby, just as in Genesis 1 and 26 and chapter 2 and verse 7, where God formed the first man, Adam. Now God is forming the second Adam, and through that man, he became our example. You know, the demons would bow to him. Sickness would flee from him. Nothing could stop him. He could walk on water. He could talk to the storms. He could raise the dead. And yet he said that you and I would do greater miracles than these. In Acts chapter 1 and verse 8, it says, but you shall receive the power when the Holy Spirit has what? Come upon you. When the Holy Spirit has come upon you. As we come to the close of 2020, and as we continue to look at our discussion on the supernatural realm, let me leave these parting words with you today. Supernatural living is not being conformed to this world, but being transformed by God Almighty. And we're going to pick this up again tomorrow and perhaps the rest of of this week. Uh, but you know, we can't come into the presence of God with filthy rags. Uh, we can't come into the presence of God in a defeated attitude. Uh, you know, Christ died on the cross. Uh, he came to die so that we could live. Uh, and when we are born again, he puts a new robe on us. We'll look at this tomorrow. He makes us anew. But then we must begin to change. We must begin to be transformed. We can't know. We can no longer live as the world lived. Christ set that example. Christ, uh, if you like, was a Nazarene. He had a Nazarene spirit. And we'll look at this, uh, how that you and I need to have a Nazarene spirit uh, if we're going to move in the supernatural. Wow. It's exciting to enter December. It's exciting to come and listen to the carols and begin to sing those beautiful songs about the birth of Jesus Christ. And uh, we will continue to look at this. Uh, but as we enter, enter December and as we continue along the paths of December, remember that we are uniquely made as Christ, as God, as the Godhead formed Adam and Eve, as, as the angels came down, the angel of the Lord came down, and Christ was formed in, in Mary. The Word of God tells us that the Holy Spirit uh, has come upon us, uh, that the Holy Spirit abides within us, uh, that we are the temple of the Holy Ghost uh, to be his ambassadors. To do that, we must be pure. We must be cut off from the world and be different. Well, this is Prophet Tom. What a joy it has been to be with you today. Go forth this day in the victory of God Almighty.